<laughs> Her first encounter with the Trailblazers was pretty impressive. From high above, amid a hail of bullets, came the words... Your every move has been foreseen. By the Omnisia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, her bullet deflection game is on point. I, don't. I wonder, how'd she fare against ooh, a star knot, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't see her swatting one of those out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fu Xuan might have something to say about that. Oh, okay. Mm. Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Earth and water trigrams. What do we have to fear? Let us counter this menace directly with the might of the Sienjo. Mm. Huh? Oh, Sisheng translation. Hexagram says let's do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the Divination Commission would benefit from having Sisheng as a translator. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The omnisia on Fu Xuan's forehead is a mysterious instrument that allows her to calculate her every move in advance. However, the immortal bodies of the Sien Zhou natives exhibit adverse reactions to external augmentation. Hmm. While the omnisia may grant her incredible computational abilities, it also causes her pain and exhaustion. Uh, well, with great power, uh, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> that explains Fu Xuan's reliance on bubble tea then, huh? I heard she drinks like 10 cups of Immortals Delight a day. Uh, <laughs> no. Hey, that sounds like gossip to me. What if Immortals Delight is just heckin' delicious? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it is, <laughs> though I'm sure the sugar helps. Running the Divination Commission and divining the fortunes of the Sien Zhou, it's an exhausting gig. <sighs> All right, Anjali's right. No more bubble tea gossip. By way of apology, how about I treat everyone to 10 cups of Immortals Delight after the show? <gasps> yes! <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Let's talk about Bubble Tea later. It's time to take a look at how the Master Diviner showcases her abilities on the battlefield. Fu Xuan is a quantum type character following the Path of Preservation. But where other Path of Preservation characters mainly use shields for defense, Fu Xuan takes a different road. Precisely. After using her skill, Fu Xuan activates the Matrix of Prescience, which lasts for a set number of turns. This allows Fu Xuan to absorb some of that damage for her allies. Oh. When the Matrix of Prescience is active, it grants the knowledge effect to the entire team, increasing characters' max HP and crit rate. Fu Xuan's talent offers a variety of effects. Firstly, Fu Xuan can provide a permanent misfortune avoidance state, reducing the damage taken by the entire team. Secondly, when Fu Xuan's HP drops below a set percentage, she recovers a set percentage of HP. POV, you're Fu Xuan's enemy. Why are my attacks healing her? <laughs> <laughs> That's not all. Fu Xuan's ultimate deals quantum damage to all enemies, but it also increases the frequency of her talent's HP restoration effect. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, Fu Xuan's technique can grant a barrier for the whole team that lasts for a set duration. During exploration, the barrier blocks all enemy attacks, thereby preventing battles that would otherwise have triggered in this way. Her technique also activates the Matrix of Prescience automatically at the start of the next battle. That's our Master Diviner. Reliable and determined. <laughs> no wonder she's got her sights set on the generalship. See, her style is very different to Jing Yuan's. But being a defensive backbone for her team is equally respectable. <clears throat> and you won't find her guarding or playing chess on the job either. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say it. We're moving swiftly <laughs> on to our final character. It's time we introduced a young girl from 